Before I get started, I just wanted to show you the program that I'm using. It's called Printmaster Gold 8, version 8. Now, there are newer versions, but this is the one I use. I've got Windows 7, so I think that's what it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, 1795 uh, that's what it costs uh, to buy uh, from Amazon. Um, you might be able to get it cheaper someplace else. I don't know. But uh, this is the program I use. And what I'm doing is, uh, I know this is kind of fisheye, but I, I apologize for that. But nothing like it. I've had to put this on my, uh, uh, a little bit further back so I can show the full screen. And it is, ha does have a fisheye effect, and I apologize. I took a ruler, and I scanned it into my computer. And uh, to get it, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to adjust the uh, feather length to the size of the head uh, of the sculpture that I'm working on. And uh, since it's half life size, it's about four and a quarter inches, uh, the full head length from top of the head to the bottom of the chin. And that's what I go by. Well, I took this ruler and I scanned it in as a JPEG uh, type of file. And then uh, what I, I know that the... Uh, page is 11 inches by eight and a half inches so i take the ruler and i grab it by the corner of the uh picture not the middle because that'll distort it if you pull that up it stretches it it doesn't uh keep it proportional but if you take your cursor and put it over the uh well, like i'm doing here on the uh, right hand corner you get a little spread arrow both ways that means you can move, and what I do is I expand it. I have put the uh, bottom of the ruler, which is the, at the one inch mark right there. I'm going to back off by clicking on the uh, thing over here uh, to reduce the size of, of the view. And I just keep stretching it till the 11 inches, which is right there, reaches the top of the page. That too far. Got to go down a little bit to touch the bottom of the ruler onto the uh, bottom of the page. But once I get this, well, and that's right on the uh, button now. So that's uh, a true size ruler that I can use to uh, set up my feathers. And I'm going to, since it's four and a quarter, I'm going to just going to push the arrow up, I mean the uh, picture up, and then uh, zoom in. I'm opening opening a project. No, I want to go my pictures. Wrong one. Uh, search art and photos. And there's a picture of, of the drawing of my feathers that I downloaded onto my computer. I bring that up. And uh, there it is at four and... No, that's at... Uh, yeah. See this box here that I pulled up here? That's the head size, uh, eight and a half uh, inches by scale. And that's how I scale my feathers is by uh, proportionally reducing or expanding the uh, picture. Again, I'm going onto the right hand corner and I want to take the bottom of the uh, box and bring the top of the box right down to four and a quarter inches. So let's do that. Slowly. Oops, moved the bottom down just a little bit. Get that lined up again. It's at uh, four and three quarters now. Pull up the. When you do that, it moves the bottom too down. So you gotta keep adjusting. Adjusting. Almost there. I'm just below the four and a quarter. Down just a little bit. That's close. That's good. That's right on the button. So now 
I'm going to keep the ruler on here only because it might be useful for other things like the, if you know the width of something or the length of something in real life, uh, then you can adjust it. You know, no, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to now re reduce the, the uh, ruler down to the scale of the head which is eight and a half so I need to uh, zoom out just a little bit more uh, I know it's hard to see it but I'm going to take this ruler and bring it down and uh, let's zoom in a little bit so I put the ruler right about there still got a ways to go the eight is up here Eight and a half to nine inches is uh, the usual or the ideal for head length. And uh, zoom in just a little bit more so I can see more what I'm doing. And that's good. Let's see how close I am. Put the ruler right there on. needs to go out just a little bit so I take the uh, bottom left and just adjust it okay it's got to come up uh, see just a little bit all right I got the ruler uh, at just under just barely under eight and a half inches but now that gives me a scaled ruler that I can use for uh, sculpting. If you know a gun barrel is eight inches, you got it scaled right here, automatically. Even uh, centimeters down here, I think that's centimeters. Let me take a look and see what that is. Whatever's on the uh, other end of the uh, ruler. Uh, millimeters, yeah. So that, that automatically scales your millimeters as well for those of you who use millimeters. So everything is uh, scaled. My, my feathers are scaled. And now it's just a matter of uh, printing them out. And this is what I'll use as my template for making my feathers for the headdress. So I just thought I'd show you that. I'm going to go ahead and print that out uh, maybe twice. So there you go. That's how I scale my items on my sculptures. I just uh, do a little scaling uh, on my computer before I go to the studio and start making them. Now this is the uh, chief's feather here. This is the uh, secondary feather which uh, you know, goes along the side of the headdress and down you know, the back. And then I, I have to ask, but I think uh, it goes back to the chief's feather. But I'm not certain on that. These are hawk feathers. And... Uh, I contacted an artist friend of mine who is also a Native American and he allowed me to trace the feathers uh, that he had so that I could uh, keep them in my computer. I can't own an eagle feather, which I think is wrong. I think bona fide artists, Western artists, or artists who use feathers should have the ability to use feathers or have them in their possession for nothing more than just pure reference so here's my printout uh, get it up here ah. there's my printout and it's uh scaled completely to uh work on my my sculpture so that's how i do that all right going to the studio and i'll pick it up there next video all right well that's going to be the video for today on this particular subject uh, the next uh, two days, I'm going to be working on the clay, and then I'll make a combined video. Thank you.